Welcome to Moonlight. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, where the moon shimmered like a pearl in the sky, three friends set out on an unforgettable adventure. There was Peter Rabbit, with his fluffy ears and quick little hops, always full of energy and curiosity. Then there was Ellie the Elephant, gentle and wise, with a soft, soothing voice that could calm any storm. Finally, there was Tycho the Turtle, slow but steady, who always found the cleverest ways to solve problems. One warm evening, as the sun set and the sky turned into a blanket of deep blue, Peter hopped up excitedly. Ellie! Tycho! Come quick! Peter exclaimed. Look at the moon tonight! It's so big and bright, almost like it's calling to us. Ellie raised her trunk and looked up at the glowing moon. It does seem special tonight, she said in her gentle, deep voice. Tycho, slowly but surely, came to join them. He stretched his neck and nodded. I feel it too. It's as if the moon wants us to go on an adventure. And so, the three friends decided to follow the moon's light, letting it guide them on a peaceful journey through the forest. The moonlight made the trees look like they were sparkling, and the soft wind hummed a sweet lullaby as Peter, Ellie, and Tycho strolled down a winding path. The forest wasn't scary at all, it felt like a dream. Fireflies danced around them, their glowing bodies lighting the way. Every step they took felt like they were floating, as if the forest wanted to carry them gently through the night. Ellie's big feet made a soft, rhythmic thump, thump, thump. Peter hopped quietly beside her, and Tycho, slow and steady, followed along, making tiny splashes as they crossed a stream. As they walked, they began to feel more relaxed, their eyelids growing heavier. But the magic of the forest kept them going. Suddenly, they came upon an ancient wooden bridge, draped in silver moonlight. It stretched across a calm, glowing river. The friends could hear a soft voice whispering from the other side, calling them over. Peter was the first to hop across, followed by Ellie's careful steps, and finally, Tycho. As they walked, the bridge gently swayed, but it felt like a cozy cradle rocking them softly, making them feel sleepy but safe. Do you think there's a secret on the other side? Peter asked, yawning. Ellie smiled. Maybe it's where the moon's light comes from. Tycho, who was always thoughtful, whispered, or maybe it's where dreams begin. When they reached the other side of the bridge, they found themselves in a peaceful meadow. The grass shimmered like silver under the moon's glow, and the stars above twinkled as if they were winking good night. In the middle of the meadow was a soft, mossy hill. This looks like the perfect place to rest, Peter said, his little nose twitching. Ellie yawned, curling up on the soft grass, and Tycho slowly settled beside her. Peter hopped around one last time before snuggling next to his friends. The moon above seemed to smile down at them, casting a warm, gentle light that wrapped them up like a blanket. As they lay there together, their eyes began to close. The forest whispered lullabies, the stars twinkled softly, and the moon hummed a quiet tune. Peter's little paws twitched as he drifted off to sleep, dreaming of adventures in faraway lands. Ellie's soft breaths rumbled like a gentle breeze, and Tycho's slow, steady breathing was the perfect rhythm for a peaceful night. The three friends knew that as long as they were together, every night would be filled with magical journeys, guiding them to sweet dreams and peaceful slumbers. And so, under the watchful eye of the moon, Peter, Ellie, 
and Tycho slept deeply and happily, dreaming of the adventures yet to come.